determine whether the following matrix is orthogonal. If it is, find the inverse of this matrix. And here we have a cute two by two matrix A. Now let's recall the definition for an orthogonal matrix. So an N by N matrix A is called an orthogonal matrix if its columns form an orthonormal set. So we need to check two things here. We need to check that the columns of matrix A are orthogonal to each other and that these columns are also unit vectors. So the first thing that we want to check is, are these columns orthogonal? So I'm going to go ahead and let the first column vector be vector a sub 1, and the second column vector will be a sub 2. So to determine if these column vectors are orthogonal, we need to check if the dot product is equal to 0. So we are taking the dot product of the square root of 3 by 2, negative 1 half, and we are dotting this vector with the vector with components 1 half square root of 3 by 2. And computing this dot product, we have the square root of 3 by 4 minus the square root of 3 by 4, which is equal to 0. Woohoo! So we can say that the columns are orthogonal. And now the next thing that we need to do is check if these columns are unit vectors. So starting with column vector a sub 1, I'm going to factor out that scalar multiple of 1 half. So we have 1 half multiplied by the vector with components, square root of 3, negative 1. And then finding the length of this column vector, we can keep our scalar multiple of 1 half in the front. And this is multiplied by the square root of the square root of 3 squared, which gives us 3, plus negative 1 squared, which is 1. So we have the square root of 4 over 2, which leaves us with 2 by 2, which is 1. Woohoo! So our first column vector is a unit vector, and the second column vector, a sub 2, again, I'm going to pull that scalar multiple of 1 half out in front, and that's multiplied by the vector with components, 1 square root 3. So finding the length of this column vector, we can keep our scalar multiple of 1 half in the front, and that's multiplied by the square root of 1 squared, which is 1, plus the square root of 3 squared, which is 3. And again, we have the square root of 4 by 2, which we already know is 1. Woohoo! So we can now go ahead and say that the set of vectors a sub 1, a sub 2 is not only an orthogonal set, but it also forms an orthonormal set, which tells us that matrix A is orthogonal. So now that we have verified that matrix A is an orthogonal matrix, let's find the inverse of this matrix. Now we're calling our last theorem. We know that a square matrix A is orthogonal when the inverse of A is equal to the transpose of A. So since we've already verified that matrix A is orthogonal, we can easily find the inverse of this matrix using the transpose. So the transpose of matrix A, we take that first column of matrix A and it becomes the first row of A transpose. So we have the square root of 3 by 2, negative 1 half, and the second column of matrix A becomes the second row of the transpose, 1 half square root of 3 over 2. And we know by our theorem that this is the inverse of matrix A making this our beautiful final answer.